Now, how does, this, how does this relate to the last piece of the Identity by Design silo, the magic circle? Magic circle is the generative component within the Identity by Design silo. Everything else you could consider remedial. In other words, we're going in and we're, we're changing something that got screwed up or it wasn't installed right or whatever. In the magic circle, we're actually selecting people or ex exemplars or avatars, depending on what word you resonate with, who represent qualities, characteristics, skills, and abilities we want for ourselves. Things we want more of. Right? I did a little bit of DTI with you on uh, Wednesday night when I had you float up out of your body and down into <coughs> the image of me teaching you and being me for a little while. We're actually when, uh, when I floated down and merged, I felt like I had the ability to impart knowledge and technique mm -hmm. to the audience to bring them to my level, so to speak. Cool. Coherence with everybody. Mm, that's good. I like that. Coherence with everybody. Yes, coherence with everybody is actually what I do. In advanced regression and actually in secrets of personality transformation um, in, in Vegas, we're going to go even further into deep trans ID, deep trans identification. I'm going to show you some dark side stuff uh, applied for more gray purposes and benevolent purposes. We'll go very, very much more comprehensively into building very complex deep trance identification protocols that are you know, much more pervasive. But the things we want to talk about when we think about DTI, deep trance identification, A, make sure you're only extracting the, techni the qualities you want. So build a filter in place that only pulls in the characteristics and qualities that you, co you covet for yourself mentally, physically, emotionally. I'll, I'll, I'll give you my codes. I started with Sherlock Holmes, James Bond, Captain Jack Sparrow, Robin Williams, George Carlin, Richard Bandler, Kenrick Cleveland. Did a little bit of Mark. Um, that's Sam Kinison. You can, or you can do them all together. When I do, I'm going to do the demo in a minute, um, and I'll probably just do one or two, but I've had people do like 10. Right? It doesn't matter, as long as you understand the process. Right? Jay, come on up here, brother. What? Absolutely. Yes. Remind me to tell you about Captain Jack the Acupuncturist. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all right. Huh? Captain Jack the Acupuncturist is a horrifying thought. <laughs> <laughs> I go lay like a rock star. <laughs> Drunk all the huh? time. Is that why you always like your best? Indeed I do, love. <laughs> Indeed I do. <laughs> Hello, Mike. Hello. <laughs> all right. So. Um, we're just going to walk through the DTI process, right? And, and it's actually kind of fun. Do you have anybody that you'd like to have more of in you? In that non-gay way? Mm. Oh, it's got to be non-gay? Uh. <laughs> I feel a round of sweet transvestite coming on. <laughs> who, was in, who was in class when I did the Frankenfurter imitation? Well, you think I won't? All right. Can you look at you? I see it. You saw it, didn't you? You felt it coming. Be careful what you ask for. How do you do, baby? <laughs> Shut him right down. All right. All right. Um. Let's do, actually, you know, Austin Powers is just a, yes. that's a great one. Yeah, baby, yeah. <laughs> and then we shag, baby, yeah. <laughs> I used him as well. Oh, that's cool. <laughs>
You want some jablies too, do you? <laughs> <laughs> what? Jablies. Don't, don't <laughs> 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 Alright, your feet will remain strong beneath you. Sleep! Deep sleep all the way down, deeper and deeper with every breath you take, every beat of your heart, Jay. Drifting, dreaming, floating, flying. Oh, so relaxed, so at peace. Your body becoming more and more relaxed. Your head can come back up, but you can go deeper and deeper and deeper. Still open your eyes. Close your eyes all the way down, deeper and deeper and deeper. Still open your eyes all the way up. Close those eyes all the way down. Drifting, dreaming, floating, flighting, guided by the sound of my voice. Wonderful sensations coursing all throughout your mind, all throughout your body. Wonderful senses of pleasure. The kind of pleasure that, that's right, doubling and tripling with every breath you take and every beat of your heart because the more pleasure you feel, ooh, yeah, the more oxytocin you release. The more oxytocin you release, the more rapidly your neurology goes, ooh, I can change now. And of course, the more you change, the better you feel, the better you feel, the deeper you go, and it just goes that way. <laughs> yeah, baby, yeah. Now, in a moment, not yet, but in just a moment, baby, I'm going to say, I'm gonna, you're going to notice your consciousness flying all the way up out of your physical body, leaving your physical body far behind, going higher and higher still. As Captain Jack the Hypnotist takes over, you'll begin to notice a wonderful sense of relaxation. A wonderful sense of freedom, free of the physical body. You can move anywhere you like in time and space, to the past, to the present, or even parallel universes, parallel lives, or other versions of yourself that are learning and living and having adventures, things you can learn from. And it's a wonderful thing as you continue to float higher and higher and higher still. That's right. And as you do, you can actually look down you can actually see that glowing line of time beneath you, the one we visited so many times. That's right. And as you continue to float, you see off in the distance a beautiful star, a familiar star that winks and twinkles and welcomes you home. You find yourself being drawn towards it, moving, floating, flying, that wonderful energy getting stronger and stronger, bathing your mind, bathing your body in all of those wonderful things that you love so much. That's right. And then you pass through that beautiful light, you feel a cleansing as if a beautiful, sp uh, special, fine filter has been applied through every part of your being, filtering away any stress, any strain, any less than positive experience, until only the purest consciousness of Jay is remaining. You find yourself passing through that light into a very familiar place, a dome-shaped room with pearly gray walls. In the center of that room where a huge fireplace used to be is something different beautiful glowing circle of energy. And there's one small portion of that circle that isn't quite glowing yet. And we're going to step inside, you and I. And as soon as you do, that other that section lights up and you feel an energy washing through you. You feel a sense of command, a sense of power, a sense of being one with God. And in this place, in this time, in this construct we call the womb of eternity and the gray room, and the magic circle. You are one with creation. And anything you can intend, anything you can imagine, anything you can act out, must, must, must become true and real for you in the external world. It's just the way it works. Now as you look around the exterior of that circle, you can begin to notice that there are people, avatars, examples of qualities, traits, and characteristics that you really want more of that you would like to have installed deep inside of you for yourself. And with a wave of your hand or a snap of your finger, the first one appears. And when you see him or her, nod your head to let me know. That's right. And as you look that person in the eyes, you can see, feel an energy moving back and forth between the two of you. If you know what a chakra is, you can feel your chakra is actually aligning, an energy beginning to flow back and forth information being downloaded and transferred, your vibration synchronizing like a Bluetooth. That's right. And when you're ready, I want you to turn around and step backwards into that person, becoming completely one with them, seeing the world through their eyes, hearing the world through their ears, feeling the world through their body. 
sensing and believing and understanding and perceiving themselves, the world and everyone in it, as this person. And as you do, mate, what I'd like you to do, I'd like you to live a life as them. Go where they go, do what they do. Understand the way they understand. Go on adventures, baby, yeah, that's right. Over and over and over again. Whatever formative experiences they had, that were necessary for them to become that kind of person. Take only what you need, only what you want, only what gives you those qualities, traits, characteristics, and attributes. And when you know you've got it, when you know it's locked in, imprinted indelibly at every level of your mind, every level of your body, then all I want you to do is nod your head to let me know. Take a deep breath, breathe in their essence, feel them becoming a permanent part of you, imprinting, merging, and step out. Turn around and face that avatar. Look them in the eyes and with all the gratitude that you have to give, thank them for what they've shared with you. And with a wave of your hand and a thanks, dismiss them back from whence they came. And as you look around the circle, take note, is there anyone else whose qualities, characteristics, or attributes you'd like to have more of? Name them, summon them. When you see them, nod your head. There you go. And once again, as you look them in the eyes, you thank them for coming. The energy between your eyes begins to blend and merge and pass information back and forth. Your crown, your third eye, your heart, your throat, your sh all of your chakras aligning, vibrating, synchronizing. The energy transfer accelerating, magnifying. You can just feel it like downloading information from the matrix. Like Neo going, ah, I know Kung Fu. Your Kung Fu is getting stronger and stronger still. And when you're ready, and only when you're ready, turn around and step into them. Feel that energy surging all throughout your mind, all throughout your body. Live that life. Feel that feeling. Know what they know. Be them now in every respect. Taking only what you most need, what you most want, to exemplify those qualities, characteristics, and attributes that give you the results you crave and desire. Live the life over and over and over again, thousands of times at the speed of thought until you know you've got it. When you know you've got it, nod your head to let me know. That's right. Take a deep breath in, breathe in that essence, and step out again. Turn around, look your avatar in the eyes with all the gratitude and deep felt thanks you have to give. Thank them and dismiss them back from whence they came. And now, anytime you need to, Jay, anytime you want to, you can go to the womb of eternity. You can visit that gray room and enter your magic circle. And as an act of will, you can summon forth any quality, characteristic, or attribute that you want. You can step inside and become the embodiment of those powers, of those abilities, and express them, integrate them fully into your own persona, into your own being, expressing them and enjoying them, wielding them at your will for all the right reasons. When you know you've got that, imagine a time in the future, seven days from now, having fully integrated, installed, expressed, and applied these qualities, characteristics, and attributes. Step into that body seven years in the future and notice what it feels like to be that person now. Look back on those seven days towards this moment. And notice what you've learned. Notice what's different. What have you learned, Jay? Now move forward a month from those seven days into that body. Live that life for a couple of days and notice how good that feels. Notice the results that you're getting now. As you notice the results that you're getting now, look back on those months and that previous month and notice what you've learned. Notice what's different. Notice it just gets better and better for all the right reasons. And now from that month, move six months into the future. Step into that body, having fully mastered and built upon these foundations. Live that life. Look at the results you have. Look back on this moment. 
and notice what's left for you. Notice what you've learned. Notice what you've acquired. And then, one final time, move a year into the future from that six-month mark, into that body, into that mind, into that life. Live it. Turn around, look back on that year and a half. Notice what you've learned. Notice what's changed. When you know you've got it, begin the journey back, walking back in time. And as you look back in time, tracing your timeline back to the present moment, you notice what look like little glowing footprints. And each of those footprints symbolizes a step in the process, a journey, an idea, an understanding, a revelation that you've made, a turning point in the process that led you to this goal, to this destination. And as you retrace your steps back, your unconscious mind has a roadmap to follow, a set of coordinates in your GPS that will inevitably, inevitably orient on and take you to faster, more fully, more powerfully than ever before, and even beyond it. When you know you've got that, feel yourself floating down into the physical body here in the room, bringing all of those transformations, revelations, and educations with you. Head clear, mind clear, fully installed in every way. Well, you know you're here, nod your head and let me know. Excellent, baby, yeah. In a moment, not yet, but in just a moment, I'm going to count from one to five. When I reach the number five, you'll emerge from this state only at the rate and speed that you know you've got it. Only at the rate and speed that every level of your mind, body, and soul is in complete harmony, complete accord with this tra uh, revelations, transformations, and education. Number one. Feel yourself returning to this place we call reality, bringing with you a brand new reality, a reality where you're the one who knows how to use this. You're the one who's done the work, who's imprinted the traits, the qualities, the characteristics, and is expressing them uniquely in your own way that gives you the results you want the way you want it. Number two, all of my suggestions from me to you, from you to your very own other than conscious mind are now ten times more powerful. Ten times more positive, ten times more permanent, locked into that part of your mind, body, and soul that most wants, desires, and can profess <coughs> and express these qualities, traits, and characteristics. Always at least three ways to overcome any situation, obstacle, or circumstance that you may face. Always at least three solutions to any problem you need to solve. And your other than conscious mind will now easily, effortlessly, and automatically generate those solutions in the quickest, easiest, most effective way for the good of yourself and all concerned. Number four, well, because it's all for you, Mr. J. You've done the work, you've followed the instructions, you've obeyed the commands. You deserve the rewards. It's your reality. You've earned it, and it's true for you now. On the next count, you can emerge from this state only at the rate and speed that you know you've got it. Only at the rate and speed at every level of your neurology, mind, body, and soul is completely imprinted with these qualities, traits, and characteristics, expressing them in all the ways that only make your life better by your standards and your expectations. At peace with yourself, the world, and everyone in it, feeling good all over, glad to be alive. Number five, take your time, come on back. Notice how good you feel. Wow. <laughs> That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So the first one that just came up and I saw was Merlin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the second one was Indiana Jones. Mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so uh, that, was, that was really awesome. Thank you. A round of applause for the man. Thank you very much. <laughs> It's actually quite simple, isn't it?